it's Friday morning. We've got rain, which is great because it means all the tinder dry stuff that was everywhere is now damp. And it also means a slightly steadier day, hopefully. I've, uh, I can't remember the last time we had some proper rain that actually slowed us down because I am absolutely exhausted. Where's your pins? Right, we've not done the cool wall for ages, so we're going to do it now. So Where is your pin? I don't know where the pins are. <laughs> Let me find some pins. Um, put it oh. in front of the MBE, but behind the case, I reckon. Personally. Oh, sorry. But you weren't just in the middle? In the middle, yeah. I reckon. There we go. So who agrees? Should it have been <laughs> Sub-Zero or should it have been Cow Spec? Seriously uncool, uncool. What do you think? Leave a comment below. The girls think it should go there. I'm going to get absolutely slated. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's raining, we don't want some of these classics deteriorating, so we're just getting them all back in the shed now. And Sam's just put in the 49, these two have been brought in. We're going to get the, uh, the 7, 8 in there as well, and then a the little case. Hey up, what's going on? A waka waka. So this was last night, some uh, wood's been delivered off Richard's, brought some wood and then now got some hay caps to unload, so we're going to unload them now for this uh, nice wheat straw we've got. So David's here with another 50 hay caps. Yeah, and he is also backloading with straw, Richard, after dropping the timber off, so we're just going to weigh him out now. The rain's just stopped, so Sam's got the bucket brush on and he's going to brush some of the wood chip off the yard because it's been blowing around, getting spilt and all sorts. He seems to have the bucket set wrong now. There we go. You're using the old bucket brush because the other one you have to plug the electrics in and uh, it's just doing a quick job of it. So. Blasting out the radiator. What's the line marker for? The line marker? It's funny to mention that because I need a little bit to mark out where I want to hold digging on the way home. And I said to you, Dad, I said, there's normally thousands of cans of line markers just sticking around the floor and I just want a little bit. And your dad, within 30 seconds, came back with a can of lime marker off the floor. So the system does work. <laughs> right, we'll see you all soon. See you later. Nice to meet you. See you, John. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's definitely blocked. I'm gonna blow out. all of me legs. So in here, we have got a remote control tractor, but it isn't for James. I'll show you what it's for in a minute. Ollie's just gonna build it now. We're just fitting the drawbar now. I've got the remote control. We won't need the seat. Yeah, so I've got another 50 hay caps. This obviously shows you how you put them on. You put them on top of a bale and you stack them up tight and there you go, it protects the straw. So we get them nine high. So each one of them will protect around three tonne of straw. So if you work out, it's probably, depending on how many you're buying out, how big an order. 16 to 17 pound a ton to cover them with hay caps if you compare that to the cost of a building to put straw in i mean buildings have more than doubled in the last 12 months alone so these suddenly are even better value for money than they ever used to be and hopefully will pay themselves pay for themselves within the first year of owning them i'm not selling straw cheap i've sold a tiny bit off the field but the rest of it is getting stacked over there or over there with hay caps on so that the, so it's worth the price that it's cost me to produce the straw I don't want to sell it at a loss, so I just want to store it into the winter. It always was worth a bit more in the winter because they've been stored, and that is why we've got more of these. So all the nice straw we'll bale, the rest of it is getting chopped, and we'll stick it under them. Wait for the price to go up, hopefully. If it doesn't go up, I'll, they can just stay there until the price does match what they're worth. There's no reason why straw is not £100 plus a tonne, which is what it was two, three years ago when we had the drought, because all the fundamentals say that straw should be up. I think it's something like £41 a tonne, just in fertilizer value and the cost of baling. So then you've got to move the stuff and then sell it. It should be a lot, lot higher to be worth the damage that you do to the fields to get it off. So, yep, 
more hay caps on this farm again. Don't forget, if you want them, David will do your deal if you mention me, he said as well. So give him a ring. In fact, you can't ring him without knowing his number, but it's haycap.co.uk is the website. Just doing it. a range check. See how far it goes. Don't want to run out of uh, range on the roof. Oh well, viewers say bye to Ollie, he's done his week's work experience. <laughs> Might see him again. Maybe. So, Robin has a bit of a cushion fetish, so we've managed to get a cushion. And we've now got the uh, little... I'm not going to call it Deutz because we've not put the stickers on, but I'm sure it's definitely based on a Deutz tractor. We've got the new addition to the fleet, which is hopefully going to be the new... I was going to say window cleaning attachment. New solar panel cleaning tractor. I can't even speak today. I'm absolutely knackered because it's the work's been relentless. I know I was not working last weekend. It was at that show, but that was because well, that was just as tiring. But because it hasn't rained for so long, we've just been non-stop. And today it's raining. I'm just like, oh, I can sort of like breathe. But he said it's just made me like really tired. I don't know anyone else has felt like that. But mind you, loads of people have been sending me pictures of combines today. So I think other people have just carried on working. Right. So we got it on the roof. A little bit more difficult than I thought because obviously I'm here stood in the gutter, which is metal and I had to come up in the cherry picker. Then I had to put that in the bucket, direct someone up there on my phone, how far forward's come, then drive the tractor out the bucket onto the solar panels because as you can see, there's like 20 foot of gap to get them on. But now it is on there, we can do it. So I just think we need to make a better, a better sort of like scraper. So we've got that cushion. It does, it pulls it quite easily. It seems to grip okay. Definitely comes downhill quicker than it goes uphill. I don't know whether we, we do away with it and just have an upside down bath mat. You know, the ones that are like, like them like fluffy noodly bath, mat, bath mats that you use for like washing dogs and stuff. Get it up on there, obviously in the rain when the dust is, I just oh, drop my phone. I'm not dropping my phone. Used to lay. Yeah. Something that'll sit flatter because that cushion's obviously got a bit of a, a curve to it, so it's not touching much. But if you had a flat one of them and you could just pull it up and down like a mat in the rain, you've got deionized water then falling from the sky, rinsing them, and you're just agitating the dirt and then hopefully that, that will clean the panels. But it, it actually turns okay on the roof. Ooh, ooh. It's a little bit awkward doing it with one hand. It will demonstrate now it will turn up the hill it slows down a little bit it might need a piece of string so if the battery ever went flat when it was right at the top where we couldn't get to it with the cherry picker we could um we could then retrieve it by pulling it back with a piece of string Ooh. It grips pretty well, actually. I know, I know it's dry, but... Sorry, it's really hard with one hand. Ah! It's definitely got potential to do it anyway. Hopefully to get it down, I can just... There we go drive it now to the valley gutter there we go and uh, wait for the rain make a better bath mat and try it again so I think what the best will be do get get a bath mat that's going to sit fairly flat under its own weight when it's saturated and then just go horizontal horizontal up and down maybe starting at the top so then it'll agitate it all and then the rain will be washing it. So if we do it in the rain, I think it'll be fine. Just need to put the seat on properly. We do not going to put the seat on because we just thought it added weight and it'd make the battery go flat quicker. But if we're going to use it in the rain, we don't want the electrics getting wet. So that wants to go on there. It's, just, it's not actually screwed on, but we will do. So a proper machine for cleaning solar panels is seven and a half grand. This was 170 quid off eBay. 
and what's a bath mat like a fiber might not be as quick and as efficient but it's, uh, it's obviously uh, a lot cheaper i don't think you get your money back on a seven and a half grand cleaning device and i don't know anyone locally that hires one a guy did give us a price to come with like brushes and go up and down but i think he wanted 1200 quid and he wasn't just sure how long it'd take and then we needed the cherry picker to go with him for doing it as well so we'll try it this way first if it's not successful we might have to give up and get the experts in but if anyone's got any better ideas i mean a drone would be ideal with a jet wash underneath it but you just can't get them just looking at that sky i don't think i'll have to wait long for rain first load of oil seed rape has come into the shed i think we've got a lot coming on monday morning this is uh storing it for the cooperative but i'm not telling you which combine it was cut with but it wasn't cut with a class looking at the chaff in it classic tractors are all tucked up in the shed bar the 77 don't you think the quad track will look really good part on that side like russian dolls them tractors i bet most viewers won't know what russian dolls are because they're too young obviously you saw richard bring that timber last night anyway i've had a meeting today in the house so while i've been on it they've been in that they've been getting on with putting the timbers on ready for fitting the roof to the shed so it's starting to sort of take shape now so we've not even cut half of this year's rape in fact we've only cut about a quarter of it yeah we've got this year's rape seed so harvest 2023 countdown is on as well because that's the seed that will be making it to next harvest if the pigeons don't eat it in the meantime it now has started raining but i'm too tired to be messing on the roof in fact i am absolutely knackered and exhausted so i am probably feeling around 70 percent today i'm just goosed we've not done it for ages but what how, how are you feeling today answer as a percent so leave a comment underneath because lots of people have stopped doing it but yeah that's what the hashtag answer as a percent mean so if when someone asks you how you are tell them how you are as a percent so like i say i'm 70 today what are you let me know in the comments and if anyone's low see if anyone can help them out anyway today's birthday bumper jonathan gilligan simon smith alison alison bishop 70 quite an old watch today not i don't think it's the oldest it might be the oldest female watching anyway also three oaks farm models check them out so that's um Abby Coombs his stepdad makes models and she's just showing me some of the pictures and if you want to see the models he's done of a Richard Weston trailer anyway that's on Facebook anyway so good of them to call in today and um, we did a little bit of a photo shoot for these that are coming out very soon hopefully next week so you can have a look at the hoodies that are coming soon anyway but that's it for today thank you everyone that's been watching and I will see you tomorrow and hopefully I'll be a little bit more refreshed <laughs>